How's it going? I hope all you McDonkers out there are doing very well today. Anyways, so today I went on the r slash am I the asshole subreddit, which if you don't know what this is, it's a place where people, they, they talk about their issues and they have to know like, are they the asshole or are they not? And people in the comments will tell them if they were the asshole in the situation or they weren't. Now, I went through some stuff and I found some interesting shit. Now, let's get right into it. Am I the asshole for auditioning for a role made for black role? Oh, well, let's see. I don't think, but we'll see. I, 14 female, recently tried out for my school musical, which this year is Little Shop of Horrors. I don't know that one, but uh, sure. Me and my friends were talking about who we were going to audition for, as we're all pretty big theater kids. I said I was trying out for one of the street urchins, as I already have downtown and Little Shop of Horrors memorized, and I'm a pretty good dancer. One of my friends told me that I couldn't go out for this role because it was a made for black people and I was white. Is it made for black people? Like, okay, I get it. Like, Black Panther, that role is made for black people. However, race swaps happen all the time. So I'm not really sure if this, like, matters here. I can sort of get why they say that as the street urchins were originally played by black women and have generally been played by black people, but I don't get why that means I can't go out for them as it's just a small production at school and I think other white people have been understudy street ur urchins in the past. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's purposely made for black people, like there's a whole stereotype in it and the story is important that it has to be black people because it shows their struggles, then yes, probably should be a black person. However, if it doesn't matter, just race swap it. It doesn't matter. They changed, uh, what, what was all the fucking conservatives getting mad about? Ariel. They were all getting mad. at Ariel was now black. People were getting mad at that. And then like, yeah, just people race swap in reboots and shit. Just have that happen. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of people out there that, that are like, oh yeah, from white to black is okay for when, for role switching for like reboots and shit, but black to white is suddenly bad. No, it's not. Because if you think that, you might be the racist one because I feel like role switching is just such a normal thing that happens now. It doesn't matter whether it's black to white, white to black. It's, it's, it's not an issue. Like I said, it's just not an issue. Am I the asshole for suing my father and leaving him bankrupt? Uh, oh, uh, hmm, you might be. I, 23F, am a college student and have two older siblings who already finished school and are working. Our parents divorced when I was five years old and he has not paid a single dime of child support then. And we we also lost all contact when I was six to seven years old by his choice. Okay, so I haven't read the rest of this, but so far you don't seem like the asshole, but we'll see. He has re-entered mine and my siblings' lives over a year ago. Uh, by the laws of our country, parents are obliged to financially support their children until they graduate, so pay child support. The other day, I asked him to help me out with a bit of money to cover my rent, and since I am really struggling, the sum I asked for him comes down to half of the sum he obliged to pay me monthly by law. He shrugged it off and said he's having a hard time as well. The next day, I wrote to him and demanded that he start paying my child support. He is obliged to do so by law. My sibling contacted our lawyer and found out that I am the only one with the right to sue him for not paying child support for the past 19 years as I am the last one in school and being owned to. I could sue him for all the money he owes me, plus interest, to put in perspective. I could buy myself an apartment with this money. Suing him would not be an unjust thing of me to do as he's been breaking the law and leaving us to fend for ourselves for 19 years in every aspect. But I would feel a bit bad to fuck up his life. Would I be an asshole if I sued him? What would you do? You wouldn't be an asshole if you sued him. Who gives a shit about fucking up his life? Take him for everything ye he fucking has. It does not matter. Yeah, sure, he's your father, but he's not your father, you know? Take him for everything he's got. To you, he's just some fucking stranger. Who gives a shit? Your money now, it's the money he owes you anyways. Boom, done, solved. Like, I it's such a scummy thing for, for fathers to do, man. Like, fuck. And then, he, and then he goes off and lives a life of crime, as she said. Like, no, it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of fucked up. Not kind of. It is fucked up. Just yet. Yeah, take him for everything he's got. Anyways, next. Am I the asshole for asking my brother if he was gay? Uh, I hope not, because I ask people if they're gay all the time. So, let's see. 
I, 20 male, took my brother, 15 male, out to eat yesterday. I try to do this at least once or twice a month since I don't live at home anymore. The problem is when we were at the restaurant, my brother couldn't keep his off, off, eyes off the waiter and kept stuttering when he tried to place his order. Ooh, that is rough. Can you not, can you be less subtle with that? Like, I feel like when I do that kind of shit, it's like more subtle. Maybe it's not. People just don't tell me. Anyways, I noticed him looking at the waiter, and wherever he went, he was f even full-on staring at him when he was just at another table. The first time I caught him, I didn't say anything until about the third time. I decided to ask him if he was gay because I always suspected it, and the way he was looking at the waiter just made me even more suspicious. Yep. He then asked me if he was gay, would I have a problem, and I told him that I wouldn't. After that, we just kind of dropped it and carried on as usual. I kind of forgot about the situation until he called me earlier today crying. There might be some gayness going on here if he's doing all that. There might be. He called me crying and asked why I thought he was gay and if he gives off a gay vibe. I was essentially caught off guard by this and tried to calm him down, explain to him that he didn't give off that vibe. And I was just wondering, hoping that would calm him down. After a while, he stopped crying and calmed him down, but kept repeating to make sure I understood that he wasn't gay and didn't like boys. I apologized to him and told him that it wasn't my intention to offend him and I told him that I understand he's straight. Okay, that is very much in the closet behavior. However, I don't want to assume, but come on, come on. That is very in the closet behavior. No, I'm not gay. No, me? No, I'm not gay. I just want to make sure I'm not gay, bro. That's so in the closet behavior, especially if they're calling to you crying, unless they're that insecure. If they're that insecure, then it makes sense. They could be straight, but... You're not an asshole for asking if they're gay. That's such a common thing to ask nowadays. I ask people that all the time. Literally everybody I fucking know, I must have asked that fucking five, six or times in their lives. But like, I don't know, that's very in the closet behavior. I don't want to say he is gay, but he... Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out, you know. Hide your mascara. Am I the asshole for telling my stepdad my body isn't his? Oh, that is a disturbing sentence, and I, I hope it gets better from here. Hi, I, 17 female, recently got a tattoo. It's a small heart plus semicolon on my arm, and it's not really visible unless you really try to look for it. First, I did talk to my mom about it, and since she does not know the tat, she does know the tattoo's meaning, she's getting a little similar one. Kind of like matching tattoos, and I paid for it myself. Well, the problem is my stepdad can. He brings up how he didn't approve of it and how I should get it removed because I didn't talk it out with him. Oh, boy! He said I already have a purse, oh, a piercing on my bottom lip and tattoo is too much. I told him it's my choice and if my mom agrees, he shouldn't say shit. Well, now my mom said I'm the ass and thinks I should apologize, but I don't see where I'm wrong. Okay, so, oh, that pisses me off so much because this stepfather, that is such a controlling fucking attitude right there, especially for someone who is not your father. That is fucked up. Oh my god. No, I've seen so many situations of this. Like, I'm, I'm thankful. Like, my parents are, are not divorced. I do not have any stepmother or stepfather. But I've seen a lot of situations similar to this where the step parent wants to be controlling as fuck. And the other parent takes their side. No, no, no. Hearing about that just makes me fucking itchy. Like, I don't like it. it they're so disgusting. Also, it's just a tattoo. And... The, oh my god, OP mentioned in the comments that apparently the stepdad has tattoos anyways. So, it doesn't matter, he's not against tattoos, he has tattoos. He just wants to be a controlling little bitch, is basically what's happening here. But like, what? It's just tattoos! It's just tattoos, bro, it doesn't matter. God damn it. Ah, that's so weird, but you know, you know, good luck. If it don't work out, don't work out. Gotta get rid of that little... That little heart plus semicolon. Anyways. Am I the asshole for throwing a tantrum because my child wasn't invited to a child-free wedding? My sister is getting remarried and she wants a very small wedding with only immediate family. Yesterday we got her wedding invitation and to my surprise it said that the wedding is child-free and my child isn't invited. My child is 17 years old, going to be 18 soon. By the way, my child is the only one under 18 in our family. So she is the only one being excluded. Uh... Okay, so far I'm kind of like, yeah, the bride can do whatever the fuck she wants at her wedding. Why, you know, you sh probably shouldn't question it. But on the other hand, 17 years old is not, like, t 
too young where you don't invite them to your wedding when for even when, with a child free clause like child free weddings oh my god if i ever have a wedding it will be a child free wedding but like child free up to the point of like no like under 15 year olds because i feel like 15 to 16 17 they can handle their shit. They're not an annoying bitch. Like, okay, you know what? Actually, if we... Okay, I'm going to need more context for the situation because it's like if the child's a shit disturber, like if this 17-year-old's an absolute shit disturber, no, don't invite him to the fucking wedding. If he's just chill and you know he won't cause a ruckus, then what's the issue? However, again, it's her wedding, so, like, she can do whatever the fuck she wants. Don't question the bride on her wedding. However... If this is a sticky situation. I'm going to read a little bit more, though. I called my sister and asked if she was fucking serious. She said, I'm sorry, but we have decided that we want a child-free wedding. I told her to just say you want my child, a, a my child-free wedding, and get over with it because this is exactly what you were doing. We got into an argument, and she told me to stop throwing a tantrum, and my child doesn't need to be included in everything. I told her that we won't be attending her wedding then, and she called me an asshole for not supporting her. That's a sticky situation. Uh, not going uh, to your sister's wedding just because of that is a little bit fucking weird. However, I get it because your sister's kind of a, being a cunt. However, I do need the more context. If, you're, if your 17-year-old's a little shit disturber, then I don't blame her for not inviting him. However, just invite the kid. It's not that fucking big of a deal. If they were like 13 or like 12 or like 10 or like or younger than that, I shouldn't keep going on. But like if they were younger than that, then like don't invite them because yeah, child free weddings make so much sense. Anyways, on to the next one. You might be the asshole. You might not be. I'm not. Ki I'm. This is kind of a middle ground. I'm not sure. I don't think you are the asshole, but like, because this, this is a very big gray zone. Am I the asshole for not going home and changing my shoes for a restaurant's dress code? Well, if you're barefoot, yeah, you're the asshole. But, like, I'm not sure. Let's see. I, female 29, was recently invited to a work dinner as one of my colleagues is retiring. It was being held at a little barbecue restaurant in town. I was told that the rest restaurant dress code would be smart casual. I don't know what smart casual in is when someone tells me smart casual I I think that just means like what I'm wearing now a top gun TV shirt TV shirt T T-shirt it's a t-shirt TV shirt whatever a top gun T t-shirt and jogging pants that's smart casual to me and then casual would be like pajamas you know yeah for context I wore a nice skirt a button up and a pair of crocs i live in a hot climate and lots of people such as myself wear sandals crocs flip-flops everywhere when we got to the restaurant it turned out they had a dress code and the hostess loudly told me i couldn't come in wearing crocs it was extremely embarrassing in front of my co-workers i don't really understand the problem because there were people wearing sneakers converse etc and that's fine but crocs aren't it wasn't even a fancy restaurant so i wasn't really expecting this anyway one of my co-workers urged me to go home and change my shoes and come back i was so distraught i ended up going home and not coming back i suffer with anxiety and the whole experience just made me melt down my co-workers are now collectively angry at me for leaving and not coming back my boss told me that he event wasn't about me and i should have sucked it up all right no no you know what you know what i get it I get it. I get it. I wouldn't wear Crocs. I don't get that part. I'm not a fucking psycho. I don't wear Crocs. However, I get it. I get being yelled at, being embarrassed, and then having so much anxiety you don't want to come back. I've had that situation happen to me countless times, and I've just, I, I just leave, and I fucking go home, and I curl up in a ball. That's what happens. That's what I do. So I completely get her reaction. People are only human. Suck. Uh, yeah, okay, the, the boss told her to suck it up. You know what? If the boss has never dealt with stress or anxiety, then fucking fuck the boss. Well, okay, that, I'm not trying to assume too much. I don't know this guy. I don't, I don't know the boss of the company. But, like, be more human-like. Be a fucking person. Like, acknowledge her own feelings. Like, sure, it's not about her. But I get having enough stress to being like, no, this person yelled at me. I feel extremely uncomfortable now, and I'm extremely embarrassed. I'm not coming back. I totally get that. I would probably do the same thing. People have her labeled as the asshole now because this was nine days ago. People figured out she's apparently the asshole. I don't think she's, that, she's the asshole. She did not have to come back after dealing with that. 
Okay. Is Crocs an insane choice for a restaurant? Yes. I think sandals also suck for restaurants. If I see someone go into a restaurant in sandals and I see their bare feet out, you're getting a little side eye. I'm not, I'm not a judgy person. Well, I am if you're wearing sandals, but like, uh, Crocs is a bit much and I get it. I get them for asking you to go change your shoes because no one wants to see fucking your feet through holes. That's just weird. But at the end of the day, I also like, I get it because I don't think you're the asshole. You, you have, you had a human reaction and that's fine. But, uh, yeah, you're not the asshole. These Reddit people are just weird. Anyways, <laughs> I'm also annoyed. I had so many other posts. I did, like, how many posts? I did, like, six or seven posts. I had, like, ten or eleven, but Reddit mods kept deleting the posts that I had planned for the video. You want to know why? Because it violated their guidelines. I don't think it did. The posts that were harmless, they didn't do shit. Yeah, you can make the case that, oh, fucking, they, 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 they ban a lot of shit posting. This was not shit posting. They don't have to ban this specifically. I hate people who treat Reddit or Discord like it's their fucking job. Like, oh, no, no. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, talk about this, uh, see if it violates our guidelines. I'll, t I'll, I'll, I'll bring this up to the staff. What staff? You are alone in the basement eating a bag of Doritos and, and there's no fucking staff. There's no conference calls. There's no meetings about this Reddit post. Um, maybe I'm getting too worked up about this. Maybe it, it, it doesn't matter. However, it's just something that annoyed the fuck out of me. Just wanted to get that off my chest. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you want to see more of me, consider subscribing. I may do more of these because this was pretty fun. I just like, I like rambling. I like talking. I don't know why. I don't know if you like seeing me talk, but whether you do or you don't, I'm going to do it anyway. So, uh, yeah, join our discord link is in the description below and, uh, yeah, see ya.